blog or podcast? Are you trying to decide which way to go? Wouldn't it be great if you could do a little bit of both at the same time? I do have a podcast, but I also like to write. So I often put a lot of content on the page. And I thought, gee, wouldn't it be great if people could listen to that content as well? Wouldn't it be great if you could have text to speech and make that available for people that have visual impairments or some reading challenges? Well, there's a plugin that can help you do that. It's called Website Voice, and I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. Hi, my name is Susie Webb, so let's scoot over to the dashboard and let's get techable. Okay, here we are on the on a blog site, and you'll see here on the left this is the website voice plugin. And it does exactly what it says. It will read the text on the page. So you can see that it will read the content on the page. So now how did we get this? This is very okay, we're gonna go over here and you would go to your ad plugins and type in website voice all one word. And then this is the plugin that you will get and you would install it as you would any plugin. And you can see it's only got 800 active installations. So it's a fairly new plugin, but um, that's great. I think it's a really good plugin, particularly for people that have um, different uh, disabilities and need that kind of support. So, and then what will happen once you install that, you will get this page will be um, in your dashboard, but this will be empty. Okay, this there will be nothing there. I just I will carry on and show you how I did that. And you'll notice down here in your settings, website voice is now added. So when you arrive here and this is empty, you then click here where it says website voice, voice dashboard here. And then that will take you to their website and you will be asked to make an account. You'll put in your email and make a password, of course. And then you will confirm and you must confirm the email in order for the plugin to work properly. And then once you're here, you can see, you can make the color. I made mine purple. Um, and then you can configure the language. You can have different languages. And then the tool tip, because you'll notice like on mine, when you click here, it says listen to content. So that's all I did was I typed in here, listen to content. Now, I'm not going to show you that and change it because once you put it in and then they make you a script, and then that's the script that you put in here, which I did. And you can see the widget color and the tool tip, listen to content. So that's specific to my particular code. And then what they will then do once you update, they will remove all the, um, you know, specifications, but keep your code. So that means like if I were to come here and change it to be pink, then I would be giving in, given a new script, which I would update and then put into my website. And there are some other features that, you know, paid, paid uh, versions, um, but we're just interested in the free version at the moment and you can disable it on certain pages there's different ways you can do a few different things and you'll see here I've put here select here to show only on the blog post so that it doesn't read all the pages because I just wanted it to read the blog post which is great and that's exactly what it does so you might find that um, a very useful tool it's very simple to use, very simple to put on, and it's free, and it's a great accessibility feature for WordPress.